The NRPU project, entitled as Effectiveness of Treadmill Training with Resistive Training for Balance Improvement versus Virtual Reality Balance Training in Elderly Patients, was funded by Higher Education Commission under the National Research Program for Universities, NRPU, to Foundation University with the Principal Investigator, Prof. Dr. Furkan Ahmed Siddiqui, Co-PI, Dr. Muhammad Ihab Azim. I am Professor Dr. Furkan M. Siddiqui and I am Dean, Faculty of Rehabilitation Sciences, Principal, College of Physical Therapy, Foundation University, Islamabad. Higher Education Commission has granted us worthy of rupees 2.7 million under the National Research Program for the Universities for our research project. Our research project aims to improve balance, mobility, and finally, quality of life in the older adults. Older adults, which is the most neglected population of the country. Falls in older adults lead to lifelong disability and other comorbidities. Balance, balance is normally controlled by different systems of the body like neurological, somatosensory, vestibular, and the exercise regime should incorporate all these systems to improve the balance when we, uh, when we talk about uh, older adults. There are different regimes in the country to improve the balance, but our regime which we included in the study is the treadmill with resistive training and virtual reality based refit training. We have done randomized control trial with the title effectiveness of treadmill training with resistive training by using Unmix system versus virtual reality based balance training to improve balance in the elderly population. Our target population is community developing older adults. We have used different uh, protocols, different variables, different tools to find out the balance, to assess the balance and to finally assess the outcomes. And finally we conclude that the, both the groups showed remarkable improvement in balance. But the group which are using virtual reality based balance training shows more marked improvement. The reason behind this because uh, virtual reality based refit training showed marked improvement because mostly the exercise regimes are targeted to improve the cognition level of the patient. The different exercise regimes but the lack is that the exercise regimes are typically focused on the physical uh, movements and the physical exercise and the cognition level is missing. In game-based training and virtual reality-based training, the patients are more focused because they're involved in different games and their cognition level was also improved. Finally, what we concluded, fall risk, mobility, as well as quality of life equally improved in both the groups. In treadmill training group, as well as virtual reality-based balance training groups. But the virtual reality-based balance training group shows more marked improvement the reason behind this is that the cognition level of the patient was also awesome. The take home message from our research is the community developing older adults should involve themselves, include themselves in different type of exercises, they're more focused on their balance. Mm -hmm.